Hey everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. Today I'm making a Tommy's Margarita from page 257 of Steve the Bartender's Cocktail Guide. That's me. Reason why I'm making the Tommy's Margarita is because there are two cocktails that my wife absolutely loves, the Gimlet and the Tommy's Margarita. So she's thirsty and I need to make her a cocktail. So I'm gonna get straight onto the drink itself and then run through a little bit of detail uh, about where it comes from, why it was invented or why it was created. Uh, but this one is a shaken cocktail and it calls for a Reposado tequila. Uh, I'm using 1800 Reposado tequila, which as like a, as the, the label describes, which I agree with, I've, I've done a little straight tasting a moment ago, a buttery caramel kind of note, and it's relatively mildly spiced. So recipe calls for two ounces, 60 ml of your preferred Reposado tequila. And then a, agave in my book, uh, I say agave syrup, uh, 30 ml, one ounce. I'm using agave nectar, so it hasn't been diluted, so it is sweeter. So I'm gonna drop this back to 15 ml, half an ounce. So this recipe originates from the Tommy's Mexican restaurant in San Francisco, created around 1987 uh, by Julio Bermejo. Julio Bermejo, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, then we've got one ounce, 30 ml of fresh lime juice. So apparently at the time of the cocktail's creation, uh, there wasn't a lot of tequila available, readily available in um, the US. Apparently there was a lot of mixtos, so there wasn't many 100% blue agave tequilas. Where, with the exception of Herajura, uh, then there were some other tequilas slowly sort of trickling into, into the States, including Caliente, Caliente I think that's how you pronounce it, and El Tesoro to name a couple of them. Uh, but it was mainly Herajura, and Julio wanted to highlight the tequila because most of the uh, margaritas apparently back then were, were focused on highlighting the, the two popular orange liqueurs, either Cointreau or um, Grand Marnier. So three ingredients, two ounces, half an ounce, one ounce. Nice and simple, fill the glass with ice and give it a shake. Give it a shake for 10 to 15 seconds. The original recipe actually calls for just dirty dumping. I, I really don't like that term, but essentially it just means shaking, not straining over fresh ice. Pour it straight in like so. It's served at the Tommy's Mexican restaurant like so. There's no garnish, there's no lime, there's no salt rim. But of course, if you want to, it's completely optional. You can do it yourself. But a classic Tommy's margarita is served like so. So Tommy's margarita, three ingredient cocktail, and we're using agave as opposed to an orange liqueur purely to highlight the agave notes and the tequila being used. Cheers. I like how I said I'm making this for my wife, yet I'm the one that's gonna be drinking it. Most of it. Really well balanced. You definitely don't wanna go any more agave nectar if you're using a nectar. As I said, your agave syrups may, may vary depending on the amount of dilution you've got in it, but it's gonna be in the vicinity if you're using a syrup of three quarter ounce to one ounce of syrup. It's a delicious drink, it's agave focused. It does highlight the tequila 100%. Um, you get those uh, like caramel kind of notes coming through from the, the 1800. Simple drink, it's diluted nicely, it's balanced well. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer a classic margarita or a Tommy's, or what is your favorite variation on a margarita? Cheers.